Greetings food surfers, I'm Eric Surf 6 and we've got some new vending machines to check out. Now I've been here once before but I've heard they changed the menus up so let's get a look at all the machines and see what we can find. This is what I'm after right here. This is called fugu or blowfish, puffer fish. And it comes in like a, like a stew. That's definitely it. Are they available? That's the question. Uh, 16, number eight, yes. Definitely gotta get some. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Fugu. It's poisonous, right? Can you eat it from a vending machine? Haha. <laughs> this place is called the King's Dining Table. I trust the king. All right, number eight, let's do it. Whoa, you get quite a bit, huh? There's the puffer fish right there. It's like some mushrooms and other vegetables. This is a pasta machine. And I don't do pasta very often. Pastas are very common in Japan, but for some reason, I don't eat pasta that much. So let's do it. It's time. This one. It's calling me. Yeah. Number eight again. It's available, which is good. For 800 yen, good price. There it is. I like the pictures on these, nice. How about this machine here? This has got like World Foods, Nasi Goren, that's interesting. From a vending machine, definitely we'll try that. Like a flavored rice. Number seven. Okay. Everything comes in a bowl. How about that? Yeah. Okay, and right next door here, they've got the bibimbap, which is the Korean. It's got the meat and the mixed vegetables over rice, and it's seasoned, so yeah, let's do that. That's also number eight, a lot of number eights today. And it is available for 1,200. Okay. Always exciting trying new foods from vending machines. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Bibimba coming down. The last machine in here is calling me. Look at this. Shark fin soup for 4,000 yen. That's pricey. We're gonna avoid that. Yeah, definitely. But the fried noodles look really good. Look at that, you got some shrimp and looks like some pork there. That looks really delish. Number two. And then we'll have a meal. Is. Yakisoba. Filled up the cooler box pretty well. Yep. Alrighty, what do we have here? A beautiful looking machine. What is it? Oh, it sells macarons. Oh, nice. Lots of different flavors. This is pretty awesome. Oh yeah, how much are they? 850, 7, 8, 10 is available. So chocolate, vanilla, strawberry milk. Yeah, that's the only one that's available. The place is really busy today. So what's over here? It's a vending machine that sells 
cards, card games. Ooh. I don't know this game. Where's the old ones like Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon cards? Different, huh? Let's see what else we got. This one. There's the Pokemon ones. Yeah. 3,000 yen, bit pricey. Yeah. Space market remote work. Oh, it's an office. You pay 150 yen for 10 minutes or something of office. And get some of these. It's uh, 850. Set and the machine is resetting. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Three in the box. Looks good. Over here, we got the sauce machine selling different types of sauces and goods t shirts and towels. Oh, it's all sold out though. Popular, huh? Get some of these sauce snacks though. Try that. Number, what is that, 27? Hmm. Coming down. There's the sauce that's on it. Is there rice crackers? Nama sauce, okaki. Okay, sounds good. Come in. Hey, I got the stuff. You ready to eat? Yeah. All right, let's get some. <laughs> and magically, everything is cooked and ready to go now. We just heated it up in the microwave. That's the technique here. I'm being joined by... Mega Man 600. And you got a nice haircut. That's for that big job interview you got coming up, right? Yeah. Yeah, right on. So let's start out with some drinks, shall we? Which one do you want? You one. familiar with these? The tea. The tea? Okay, good choice. Moogie chow, right? Barley tea? Yeah. And I'm having the Tansan soda water. <laughs> the basic. Wilkinson's. Yeah. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Tansan. That's the Japanese word for carbonation, basically. To me, this tastes sweet, but there's no sugar in it whatsoever. That's what the bubbles do. Yeah. yeah good stuff. Okay, where are we going to start? Let's start with, we got to eat the hot. Everything's hot, basically. <laughs> yeah. But we're going to do the main thing first, we agreed, right? Yeah. You've never had fugu or blowfish before, puffer fish. It could be poisonous, right? <laughs> it could be. <laughs> it could be. <laughs> so let's just get it out of the way first. And then uh, if something happens throughout the meal... And then maybe we'll have a viral video. All right, let's do this. So we've already dished it. We've separated it from the main bowl into two individual bowls. And I think there are two pieces of blowfish in each, right? Yeah. There's four total. So let me give you a close-up of what one of these looks like. Even though we have the bowl, we'll show you that. But this is what the individual piece looks like it's pretty meaty and it looks like there's a bone going right down the middle yeah that looks really good fugu never had it before huh never had it okay just be careful of the bone might be easier to use chopsticks or just kind of slice it with the fork if you want or with the spoon sorry there's chopsticks right there if you need them all right ready yeah going in Meaty, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. Like a fluffy meat. Doesn't taste like fish at all. Try the soup. And this is served nabe style. So it's got the vegetables in it. Some mushrooms, some greens, some cabbage.
What do you think? You like it? I like it. Right on. It's a bit of a delicacy in Japan. And to find it in a vending machine was a serious treat. I saw that and I just went, gotta get that, gotta try that. And do you trust it, you know, because it's poisonous? I do, because in Japan, the chefs have to be licensed in order to serve this. Yeah. So. Trust. I've never gotten sick from food in Japan. Have you? No. Even like vending machine food. Never gotten sick before. Oh. The nicest tender fish. Mm. Soft. A little spongy like in texture. I like that. Where would you like to go next? You could choose. You got a big mouth full of food right now. <laughs> I will choose. Do the pasta. The pasta is calling me. We don't really eat pasta very often. And do you know what kind of pasta this is? Because I don't. Did you study the little note cards? <laughs> no. Okay. Well, that's your job. All right. Back with the cheat sheets. <laughs> Please tell our audience what type of pasta this is, because I am clueless. I have no idea what it's called. It starts with a P. It's called penne arrabbiata. That's the one. Okay, I will serve you. And it looks like it's got nasu on top or eggplant, right? Yeah. Do you like pasta? Here you go. That's no. no. No? Okay, well, I didn't give you very much. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of pasta as, as well. It's got the meat sauce. But I do like the, uh, like the carbonara, the, the white sauce pastas. I'm just For some reason, I don't like the meat sauce. And this is meat sauce, but not that I don't like it. It's just that I don't really eat it very often. Okay, ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Pasta time. And I mean, I know a lot of people really love pasta. Mmm. That's good, that's good, that's good. Right? That's good. It blows away spaghetti. And the meat sauce is tangy. I like this. It's got a, I'm tasting some basil, some spice there, right? Some herbs. Yeah. Feeling it? Did you get some of the eggplant? I got some. Mm. Oh. They go together well, eggplant and the pasta. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Do you prefer spaghetti or noodles maybe? You're a noodle guy, right? Yeah, I prefer noodles. Gotcha. Okay. Next up, what are we gonna do? Should we do the shot? What's your choice? This one. Bibimba. Okay. Bibimba. And bibimba is a Korean dish that's got some vegetables and some ground meat. And spice, it comes with a tangy sauce and it's served over rice. Is it pork on top of there? Dad? Looks like pork. Looks like pork. Okay. Going in for the bibimba. Oh. Thinly sliced pork. And what kind of vegetables are in yours? Carrots. Anything else? And I think it's hot and soul. Hot and soul? Yeah. Spinach? No okay. kinds. And I've got I've got mostly pork in, in mine. <laughs> it's really tasty. And not too much of the red bean paste. It's not that spicy. It was yours? Because we didn't really mix it up. There's bean sprouts in here too. It's a flavorful dish though, for sure. Right? Yeah. The rice has got flavor. Next up is the salad course. And we've got the chef's homemade dressing. 
Dressing, yes? Yes. Nice looking greens today. I like these, the dark leafy greens. These are my favorite. Okay, let's get in here for the chef's salad. Not from a vending machine. I could just eat a salad for dinner and nothing else if it was large enough. Yeah, I used to do that. This is yakisoba, so Japanese style fried noodles. It's supposed to be seafood, but I'm seeing meat in here. I guess it's both meat and seafood, right? Some shrimp in here. The noodles are sticking together. That's okay. It happens. Japanese fried noodles. A bit gummy. <laughs> Stuck together. I like the flavor of the sauce. You do? It's pretty yeah. mellow. I like the meat that's in it. There's some, definitely some quality meat in there. Yeah. I think it might be pork. Is pork as well, too. That's good. That's really good. The nashi goden, which is flavored rice with the egg on it. That's kind of the signature, right? Yeah. Kind of Egg McMuffin style egg, right? Like this. <laughs> and some seafood on top. And then all kinds of stuff in, in the rice. Looks really good. Oh, it's a different kind of rice. It's a long grain rice. Right? Yeah. It's not a Japanese sticky rice. It's different. I mean, each one of these is meant to be like a full entree for somebody. And we got five of them. <laughs> so five entrees plus the salad. And we've also got dessert here. I guess let's do the rice crackers. We'll take a little break with some rice crackers. Okay. They got these from the vending machine. Can you read that? What kind of? This is namasauce ogaki. Okay, so sauce. And they've got the sauce on the back of the package here. That's the company that makes it. The sauce is the main event. Okay. Finger foods. <laughs> Couple each. Tasting the shoyu? Oh, they're really saucy. Yeah. These are good. <laughs> <laughs> they are good. When they put the bottle of sauce on the back of the package, you know sauce is going to be good. There's thousands of types of rice crackers in Japan, wouldn't you say? I mean, thousands. Yeah. They're everywhere. So when you find a good one like this, kind of a treat. Kit Kats. Kit Kat. Kit Kat Japan has a license to basically make any flavor they want throughout different prefixtures. There's hundreds of different types. Right? Yeah. But this is the first time I've seen peach. And I picked just, just picked them up at the supermarket today. So needed something on the way back. Because I felt like we didn't have enough dessert food from the vending machines. Um, okay, peach Kit Kat. It's the first. Is it going to be peachy? How do you eat Kit Kat? You're supposed to separate them, right? <laughs> it doesn't matter. You eat them any way you want. Oh my goodness. Mm. It's a burst of peach. Oh yeah. It's a really strong flavor, but I think they nailed it. Yeah. Color-wise, it's just basic, but it's all about the flavor. Oh my goodness. Hopefully we saved the best for last year. We've got some fancy macarons. Macarons? What do you call these things? Chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. And this came from the vending machine. So, fancy stuff. It's got the little ice pack in the bottom here, <laughs> keeping them cold. So, chocolate, vanilla, or strawberry? Strawberry. You choose strawberry? Okay. I'll go for the chocolate. Yeah. Have you had these before? I think just once. Once? Maybe. Yeah, I've had them before. I enjoyed them. But from a vending machine, this is the first. Do it. What is it? It's like an ice cream cone on the outside. And boy, is it chocolatey. Like chocolate mousse or fudge. 
Is that strawberry inside there better than the peach flavor of the Kit Kat? Actually, the peach is better. The peach is better? <laughs> oh! That was a feast, wasn't it? Yeah. Yes. So, now it is time to rate this meal. Vending machine meal, yet another vending machine meal. It's tricky to find these machines with new items in them, but, you know, the more and more that you look around, the more and more you find new machines, and then they do rotate their stock and try to sell new stuff. So sometimes I'll go to the same place and notice it. Oh, that's new or that's new. So when I saw the fugu or the blowfish, I thought, oh, man, I got to get that. Yeah. And we're still alive. Look. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. How do you feel? Fine, right? Yeah. So I guess uh, they were able to get all the poison out. Okay. So have you thought about your rating? What are you going to do? How many mega heads? I'm going to go four. Four out of six. Okay, four out of six. I think I'm going to go five out of six. Five. I enjoyed the... We had a nice variety tonight, I think. Right? Yeah. Lots of rice. Before, we've been sort of short on rice when we've had some of these dishes, right? But this one, I mean, they're full meal sets, each one of them. So that was kind of the nice thing. And it comes in the dishes as well, too. So it's ready to eat. Hope you guys enjoyed it as well, too. And thanks so much for watching. We will see you in the next one. Eric and Mega out.